Hello, everybody. I'm super excited to be here today. Um, we actually tried to do a Facebook Live and had some technical difficulties. So we decided to um, just make a video instead and we're going to share it. But I'm super excited today because I get to spotlight an amazing, beautiful woman. Um, I want to share a little bit about her before I. Uh, ask her some questions. So I met her when I was in my early 30s with little kids. And she was like 16 or 17. I don't remember exactly. But she was just a young teenager and, um, you know, ready to embark on lots of adventures. And I kept hearing about her because I was, I was teaching at like a homeschool program and I was teaching some classes there and I kept hearing about this girl who could see energy and had these special gifts and so her reputation preceded her and I was pretty intrigued and then I got to have her in some of my classes that I was teaching and just immediately fell in love with her she's very gifted and I'm super excited too have you have her share more about who she is and what her gifts are and why she is such an amazing um, woman. So with that, welcome Marin. Thank, Thank you for you. being here. Aww, <laughs> thanks, Bria. That was so sweet. Oh, I love I love you and I'm super excited for everybody in my group to be able to meet you our group oh, we're all in this yeah. together. you've actually been in the group for a while I was looking up your name to make sure you were there and you've been there for uh -huh. like four years oh wow so. that's fun <laughs> I just am like it's never on Facebook is the problem but <laughs> well now you know you're part of this group <laughs> yay <laughs> so. very good <laughs> so I'd love <laughs> to start out with just asking you um what gifts do you know that you have that are unique to you? Wow, super good question. Um, I don't know how to gauge if it's specifically unique to me or not, but I could share like what is really strong for me, like in my gifts. Um, so I, um, I'm very spiritually empathic and tend to absorb like energy from other people and from just like that just kind of wafts through me like globally or whatever um and so because of that I've also intentionally developed the gift of discernment to work on discerning what's mine what's not mine and how to filter it out and how to clear it and so, um, and so that's been really um, intentionally sought after over the years and has really blossomed in the last little while. I feel like, like that the gift of discernment has kind of blossomed into like a depth, like a deeper discerning of things where I feel like I can discern people's intentions and people's um, motivations like undercurrents that come through that aren't always spoken and um and so that can be a little unnerving sometimes because I'm like I feel like you're trying to say this but you're actually I'm saying sorry. this and, <laughs> and so um it's a little interesting to live with but it's also quite a blessing of just being able to um really feel where people are coming from, like have like the gift of empath empathy, like, you know, that empathing gift of really like feeling where they're coming from and, and being able to stand in like a non-judgmental space of being able to accept them where they're at or um, reflect back to them what they, what I'm feeling from them. Because a lot of times it's unspoken. Um, yeah. Yeah, so that's that's one that I've really intentionally worked on over the years and um, 
is kind of my dominant gift that I lead from. Um, mm. the, the gift of seeing, like what you mentioned earlier, is definitely connected to that. But I, I don't always get visual cues on things, but sometimes I do. Like sometimes I'll visually see the energy that I'm empathing or energy in someone's body system. Uh, mm. Like I'll see colors or symbols or just energy moving. Um, and I think that's also linked to that gift of discernment, of discerning energy, discerning the, like discerning of spirits almost, but it's, it's like a discerning of spirit matter or energy matter or something. Um, so cool. And it can manifest, yeah, in different ways. But, um, I love that so much. Yeah, thank you. Um, do you want me to keep going or do you want to move on? Yeah, keep going. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, so, so with, with the gift of seeing, I can sometimes see spirits or angels. Um, and for a while it was really hard because I would see like dark spirits all of the time. And so I've learned, I've learned how to interact with them so that they don't um, interfere with my life in a way that's just like detrimental, where mm -hmm. they don't really bother me anymore. Like where I used to be terrified of them, that they were in the room or next to me or whatever. Like now it's just kind of like, they don't bother me and they don't even come around hardly ever because they, like, I don't give them power. I don't give them time of day. And so I've learned how to um, focus on uh, the good angels and the good spirits. Um, and mostly I've lately been working on visualizing Christ and Heavenly Father and Heavenly Mother and, and even the Holy Ghost sometimes um, I see as like this very big golden angel like personage um but I I I used to work with a lot of spirit but now I just work directly with Christ because it's easier and more effective <laughs> and like why why go through a medium when you can go directly to the source so mm -hmm. um, yeah so I and I feel like I have a gift of um knowing Christ intimately mm -hmm. where I can share that gift with others and help them know him in a way that maybe they know of him but they don't really know him directly or know how to come unto him or, or let him into them in ways mm -hmm. that are healing so that's been really cool to re to realize that gift also mm -hmm. so earlier um I posted about you just having people guess who you are in the oh, group. Okay. And okay. <laughs> some of the things that I posted is that you've done doula work and that you have, have done other things with the feminine um, mm -hmm. and that you're a mentor. So I want to ask like, how do you, how do your gifts, you know, the ones that you've mentioned and, or any other gifts, how do they um, how do they contribute to the work that you do and the things that you are doing in your life? Mm, yeah, very good question. Yes, I am. I took the leap of faith to become a life coach recently, and it's been so, so awesome and so terrifying. <laughs> and, um, uh, what was I going to say? Uh, <laughs> I totally lost what I was gonna say about it. <laughs> it left. It's like, yeah. um, uh, so I'm specifically coaching people uh, who are empathic, who have these sensitivities and have no idea like why they're just all of a sudden like getting slammed by someone else's energy or or why they're all of a sudden feeling certain feelings that that's not theirs. And so, um, because I have like 
worked on my gifts for years and years and years and have really honed in on them and developed them to the point where they are really functional and I have some degree of mastery over them like definitely there's times where I just am totally blindsided and just am <laughs> like have to take a nap to like recover but um for the most part I feel like I've learned tools and have been guided by mentors like you specifically with your sacred gifts course that's been foundational for my learning and my processing with my gifts and um, so learning different tools and processes and, and um, been mentored by other people. I'm now finally like able to mentor others, which has been in my heart for a long time. And, mm. uh, and it feels like I just am living my potential. Like I'm finally able to unleash some of that potential that's been built up for years. <laughs> and Oh, beautiful. Yeah. So that's specifically, um, like I'm directly applying these gifts in that work right now. Um, and with birth work, I haven't been doing, actively going to births, um, mainly because I've been having my own family and this hasn't felt right to, um, and I am pregnant right now. And so I am working to, yeah, thank you. Um, I am working to really embody the divine feminine with this pregnancy and really uh, marry the masculine and feminine within me to support this pregnancy and using those gifts of discernment and connection with Christ and the divine feminine to to, to have full ownership and responsibility for my pregnancy mm -hmm. and and really like tune in to what my body needs and to what this baby needs and to what our connection is and how to support myself and so these gifts have been so it's been so fulfilling to have developed these gifts and then work to implement them in my pregnancy and in my body and with my my children and with my family where I am really discerning what's needed on so many levels mm -hmm. and and that I, I can receive that intuition and revelation because of that gift of discernment and connection with Christ and um, some of those other gifts. I love so much that you've talked a lot about the gift of discernment because for a long time in this group and in other places, I've talked about the gift of discernment being kind of mm -hmm. the, the doorway gift or the, the gateway mm -hmm. to all the yes. other gifts. And yes. um, so I love that you are mentioning that because I think a lot of people um, that are stepping into gifts um can feel overwhelmed by mm -hmm. by these gifts that we have you know yes yeah, totally. whether it's spiritual or physical or emotional in nature mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, our gifts can be overwhelming and so when we can step into that that gift of discernment and I love that you said I realized that I needed the gift of discernment. I sought the gift of discernment to help me with my other gifts, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Because it like puts them all, all together and helps you manage them and, and live with them and serve with them and, and yeah. do what you need to do. I just, I think it's so beautiful. And you're such a great example of seeking for, you know, truth with a capital T within mm -hmm. all of those gifts that you have. and. Um, you know, really seeking to have that discernment so that you can utilize all of that. So thank I you. That you yeah. have so many gifts that, you know, you haven't mentioned here that I've witnessed over the years, but I, I love what you've shared because I think that it, it can be a huge comfort and a guide to people who are, you know, stepping into their gifts and yeah really noticing that so thank you for sharing that awesome. <laughs> yeah you're welcome <laughs> um so one more question I have for you I, it'd be really cool if we could be live because then we could 
if other people had questions they could ask too. Oh maybe, yeah. Maybe later when they're watching the video, they can ask some questions, but um, sure, yeah. So my, my last question for you is, did the sacred gifts course, and you mentioned it earlier, you said it was foundational, but how, um, how did it have an influence in you knowing and using your gifts? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, it really, oh, see if I can describe this in words. <laughs> um, <laughs> That's the challenge. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, it really felt like it gave me the uh, breadth of understanding to navigate developing my gifts more fully. So, um, like a lot of the concepts that you teach in the sacred gifts, I was very familiar with and knew, but I didn't know how to really utilize them. Uh, and so it just really brought it down to a very simple, uh, or like grounded way of tapping into things mm -hmm. and then also gave the support of practice and integration of the principles and the um application and, pra and practicing like doing energy work with people and really like playing in energy land for a little bit like getting feedback from other people of how it, how it feels for them and um, just implementing it. Mm. That's yeah. So cool. I love that. Thank you so much for sharing. Um, yeah. Is there, is there anything else that you feel like you wanna share that you really want people to know about you that you haven't shared yet? Oh, it's mm. a good question. Um, that I would want people to know. Um, I have the gift of compassion. Mm. And this one was surprising to me. Well, I'm not surprising, but like surprising that it's a gift, I guess. Um, but I have had that reflected to me over and over and over by other people that I can hold space of compassion and non-judgment with them and help them just heal and shift things because of just that gift of compassion, kind of like the gift of knowing or the gift of faith, or I just didn't ever think of it as like a gift, that it was the gift of compassion. And so I guess why I bring that up is because like when you're starting to explore what your gifts are, sometimes it can like the gifts that you have that just seem so natural, just like as a natural part of who you are, can sometimes be like unique to you, like what you're saying in the beginning, like where it's not necessarily what everybody has and utilizes as a gift, where it's it's a gift that um because it's so natural, it is a gift. And, and mm. so when you're looking for and developing those gifts, like to be aware of those things that are just a natural extension of who you are. I love that so, so much. And um, to add to your point of, you know, even if we have the same gift as someone else, like it's in the same family, it's still going to be unique and how it's manifested in you and how you um, use that gift, how you utilize mm -hmm. that gift, how you extend that gift to others. Yeah. And I just want to witness um, th that you have that gift as well as all the gifts that you've mentioned. I, I definitely have seen that in you and felt that from you and appreciated it. So mm -hmm. thank you. Aww, for thank you. Um, 
one last thing and then and then I'll let you go um, sure yeah do you is there anything you want to share like any um, opportunities to work with you um, do you want to share more oh. about what you're doing with your business and what like how, how do people connect with you if they want to learn more yeah oh thank you that's a great question um well, I am not on Facebook very often, but if you message me, <laughs> then I can get that. <laughs> um, I still am working to get a business website up and things, but um, right now I am coaching empaths and super loving it. And it is so, yeah, so awesome in that sense of like, uh, So I have like five thoughts running through my head. Um, this is like all of a sudden caught in a traffic jam. Um, um, so, okay. So my, my course is specifically for empathic people that want to develop those sensitivities and learn how to master them and how to not be just blown about by every absorption of everything that, um, that is bombarded to us um, and to really like stand in that light. And it also includes an aura personalities consultation and in-depth discussion and also um, some alignment that are um, using the, another. So I also use Maria's tools a little bit in my course. And, and so I have some flavor from Maria in my course. And then I also have flavors from like a lot of other places. Um, and so, so my, what? I just said, it's so perfect. Yeah. I love it too. Um, and so I specifically am focused on like empaths because there's a lot of different gifts, right. And a lot of different ways that those gifts show up. And so if you are specifically know that you're empathic and need help with that, then I would love to coach you in that. If you have other gifts that you want to develop, then, um, the definitely do Maria's program because she's really gifted in, in that arena. Um, and then eventually my next program that I'm wanting to create is one about being a woman, womanly and integrating the divine feminine into our bodies and really honoring the womb and doing vaginal steaming and doing womb decluttering and doing a earth connection with the, the mother earth feminine, just, just really like feminine embodiment. And mm -hmm. so that one is in progress it's not ready yet but <laughs> um that one I'm excited for and then I also um want to create a um or personalities um discovery process program because a lot of times the aura layers um take a while to reveal themselves and so it's really nice to have just like support process as you're learning about the um, the gifts that are in your light field, because the, the light bands of the rainbow light bands that we emanate have light gifts and light information encoded in them that, um, that really help us to identify who we are and a lot of our gifts. And so as we, um, as we learn that process of who we are, it, it takes a, a little bit of time to unfold those sometimes so that it doesn't shock the ego because sometimes it's shocking to have it revealed like suddenly um and so I'm working on creating a program for that also um but I have services for for a personalities consulting available it's just not in a full like coaching program yet so mm -hmm. Anyway, so yeah, if, if any of those things resonate, you can PM me or text me if you have my phone number. <laughs> <laughs> or just reach out to me and I'll connect, I'll connect you with Marin too. Oh, sure. Awesome. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you so much for sharing your beautiful light today. And um, 
I, yeah, I just thank you from, from my heart for being with me and taking this time today and sharing a little bit about who you are so that everyone can see you. <laughs> oh, thank you, Maria. Thank you for this opportunity. This is so fun. You are so welcome. All right. I will go ahead and end the recording. Okay. Just kidding. Hold on. One second. <laughs>